Hi there, I'm John Leach, and you're watching Arc Fishing. Nice largemouth. Very nice largemouth. Nice largemouth bass. Nice largemouth bass. Alright, I'm gonna eat this beautiful muskie. 35 inch muskie. Catch and release. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that side, that side did get hit a lot harder this year. Normally, see what's weird is normally this side gets hit harder, but for some reason that side had more fishermen this year. I don't know why. Maybe because the water's been clearer over there. Braid or mono? So it's still be better than 50. 50 was overkill. Wow, I'm surprised it's this clear over here. This should make for some good fishing, man. You said you graduate this year, right? Yeah. You plan on working full time this summer at the at your job? I'm, I'm assuming you can swim, right? Maybe. You can swim, right? Yeah. What's your thoughts on getting a kayak and going kayaking fishing? You ever done it? Nope. It's a lot of fun, man. Something for you and your girlfriend to do. I'm look. I I had two kayaks. I saw them. I had a kidney. I saw them. I'm looking to get out of kayak again. But I used to do a lot of kayak fishing. I want to get back into it again. It's a lot of fun. Cause you can access any any area of the water like at Blue Marsh, Schuylkill River, Leaser, Le uh, Leaser Lake, and then you catch the big ones, man. Okay. What did he give you? What brand? What did he give you? I'll tell you, a really good swim bait is a young money minnow. Of course, I left those at home. I thought I was killing them on last year was a swim bait. It's exactly what I was hitting, getting them last year on, but this year I've been doing better than a Sanko. Oh, there we go. Come on. I like a hit. There we go, there we go. Fish one. Oh, I came off. First freaking cast on the swim bait, too. Same way, same way you swim a Sanko. Jerk, pause, jerk, pause, jerk, pause. It looks like a dying bait fish. That's why they attack it. Freaking short struck that one. That's the second time I had a short strike. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Take it, take it, take it, take it. There we go. Now he's on. Now we're hooked up. Got it that time. He was right. Swim bait. Come on, stay on there, baby. Don't you come off. Where is he? There he is. There was a fish in there somewhere. <laughs> Come over here, man. I'll show you what to use. Look at that, man. White super flute. First cast with it. Let's see what he measures. Thirteen and a half. Thirteen and a half. Did it come off? Well, let me see it. I got I got some on me. Let me make a video here real quick. Just give me a second. I'll I'll hook you up. I'll hook you up. Give me a little one. Oh, it's a Kai Tech. Oh. Alright. Thirteen and a half inch largemouth bass catch and release. Here's what I'm using, it's called a white super flute made by Zoom. They're okay lures. I've used them, but I'll tell you what it really would have worked. I left them at home as a money minnow. Those things would have worked big time in here. Yeah, you lost the tail. That's gonna lose all its action. Here, let me see your hook. Oh, here's one of those 
too. Oh, you all have that same brand. What brand is this? This is BMC. Looks like 4 aught. Is this 4 aught or 5? It looks like 4 aught. 1 8. Oops, sorry. Hold on, you gotta let some line here. Give me some line. Alright, there we go. Leave the hook like that. What I try to do it doesn't always work. I try to put the point inside the skin right like that. Should, you should actually have a longer hook. That looks, that looks like a three aught. This is not trying to break the tank skin. <laughs> I thought you had five aught hooks on you. I do. I would put that on with, with that lure. I would use a five aught hook. Dude, I was killing on this last year. If you watch my videos on YouTube. Last year on this lure, the first day I came out, I caught 20 fish. The second day I came out, I caught 9 fish. Landed every one of them. And I lost a bunch, too. But I had an 18-inch and a 20-inch on this lure last year. I love this lure. It, it does work good, but I was having more success on the Sanko this year. The reason it works so good is it looks like a dying bait fish, and that triggers a rea uh, like a reaction strike. It sets. <sighs> Oh, now it's getting brighter too. Oh yeah, there's two of them there. Check that out. That's cool. Oh, check that rainbow out. That's so cool. Oh, he's got another one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Fish on. Yeah, if I can get the come in, he wrapped me around the lily pad. Oh, he freaking wrapped me, man. Oh, I'm going to get him in. Wait, wait, here he comes. Come on. Does he still want me to come off? I think he came off. They're starting to feed. I think he came off. Yeah, he wrapped me good. You got one on? Yeah, good deal. Mine came off. I should have let them have it longer. He wrapped me around a lily pad. That's the second one I lost tonight. That's the second fish I lost. Landed one, lost two. Fish on. Way was way out there too. I ain't losing that one. <laughs> I already lost three. There we go. That's where a high speed reel comes in real handy. <laughs> on the black Sanko. Yep. 12 inches. 12 inch large round bass. It was way out there though. Oh, I just damaged his eye. I damaged his eye. I hooked him by the eye wax. I couldn't help it. Hopefully he'll be fine. I hate when that happens though. You done? Yeah. yeah. I'll walk out with you guys. Landed two, lost three. My legs are getting cramped anyways. It was a tough bite though. So I only landed two and I had three come off because they short struck it. I didn't see them catch anything. Oh my goodness, my legs. I think all the temperature fluctuations affecting them. It's going warm and cold and warm and cold. Thursday. Should be really good, but you are you working Thursday? It's supposed to be 81 or 82 degrees on Thursday. If it don't rain, this is gonna be really good on Thursday. So I'll be out here thinking about you. <laughs> I'll catch all your fish for you. <laughs> my legs are stiff. <laughs>